Shalom. Hi, it's Ginger, and I wanted to bring a message on love. It's coming from First Yohanan um, three thirteen to start with. Actually, this verse. Well, yeah, let's start with this verse. Okay, I'm reading from Hallelujah Scriptures, and you can get it by going to um, HallelujahScriptures.com. And you can give them a donation of any amount, and then they'll mail you a copy. So it says here in 1 Johannan or 1 John 3.13, Do not marvel, my brothers, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into hay. Now, H-A-I, that's a Hebrew word for life. We have passed out of death into life, or hay, because we love the brothers. The one not loving his brother stays in death. Okay, so we need to uh, love our brothers and sisters. I see so much bickering, fighting, uh, backstabbing on Facebook and YouTube. And it really shouldn't be because um, we are to love um, our brothers and sisters. And we are supposed to walk in the newness of life. And it, we don't want to walk in death. It says here, the one not loving his brother stays in death. And so we don't want to stay in death. So we need to forgive those who have persecuted us. And like it said in the previous verse, um, the world is going to hate you, especially if you know the true name. Even uh, Christians, a lot of them will hate you or be hateful to you or so-called Christians. Uh, because uh, if you use the true name of Messiah, it's different from what they use. And so they could be hateful to you for it or rude or whatnot. And they shouldn't be that way, but they are many times. And so let me tell you what the true name of the Father is. You can look in the preface of most Bibles or most scriptures, and you can find out his true name of Abba Father is Yahuwah. They'll have a capital Y-H-W-H, -H, pronounced Yahuwah. And you could also look in the back of Hallelujah Scriptures to, find, to look at the Paleo-Hebrew letters to find out what, sound, what sounds each letter makes. It makes up the sound Yahuwah for Abba Father's name, and the Messiah is Yahusha. The letter J is only 500 years old, roughly 500 years old, so it's impossible for the Messiah's name to be Jesus. He was born 2,012 uh, years ago, right? So how could his name be Jesus if the letter is only 500 years old? It doesn't make sense. So looking at the Hebrew letters, the Paleo Hebrew letters, you see that Messiah's name says Yahusha. So going on to 1 John 3, 18. Well, actually, let's read on. Everyone hating his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has everlasting hay or everlasting life staying in him. So when we hate each other, we're really fooling ourselves. We think that we, you know, call upon even the a lot of the people who call on the the Father and the Messiah with the true name, a lot of them uh, seem hateful. And so really they're fooling themselves if they think they have everlasting life or everlasting hay, as it says in Hebrew. Because uh, it says right here, everyone hating his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has everlasting life or everlasting hay staying in him. So it's really just, um, they're just uh, really setting themselves up for eternal fire if they don't repent from the hatefulness and we need to love each other and speak the truth in love it doesn't mean that you can't confront someone if they're uh, either in sin or in error you, we should be able to do that in the spirit of meekness and love but we don't have to come at people like um, we're know-it-alls or that we're rude or mean by this we know we have known love because he laid down his hay h-a-i that's hebrew word for life for us. So Messiah laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down life for the brothers. Now how many people do you know that would lay down their life for you? Probably not too many. But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his tender affections from him, how does the love of Elohim stay in him? So we need to give to people. We need to be giving, loving, kind, if someone needs help, we need to reach out to them instead of being selfish and self-centered. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So it's easy to say, I love you, but we need to show our love to people. 
we need to actually live it out so we don't want to just say I love you we need to be kind you know it says love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it's not easily angered it delights in the truth it always hopes trusts and perseveres so does that sound like you hopefully we are manifesting the patience you know and the um, kindness um, and goodness it, and not being rude to people those are really important things because we don't want to fool ourselves Yah is love and we need to be loving if we're gonna imitate him we're going to imitate his love and by this we know that we are of the truth and shall put our hearts at rest before him that's verse 19 of first Johanan or first John 3 that if our heart condemns us Yahuwah is greater than our heart um, and knows all beloved ones if our heart does not condemn us we have boldness towards Yahuwah so our heart is going to condemn us if we're full of hate murder even uh, just rudeness to people we're gonna feel that in our heart and but we have peace within us and our hearts not condemning us when we're walking in love with people and so we really need to uh, try hard to do that we need to really attempt to do that daily so we're gonna jump to four um, beloved ones if you who has so loved us we also ought to love one another that's in chapter 4 verse 11 the next verse no one has seen Yahuwah at any time if we love one another Elohim stays in us and his love has been perfected in us so if you want Elohim Yahuwah the Almighty one to stay in you then we have to love it says no one has seen Yahuwah at any time if we love one another Elohim stays in us and his love has been perfected in us so how are how much are people really fooling themselves when they think that they can go up to people and you know slander them lie about them um, you know all these type of things and be hateful to people they're really they're not perfected in love they are not walking in love um, and so you know I just wanted to read that to you because if you want Elohim to stay in you, you're going to have to keep love in place daily um, and just choose it. it. It's not that easy sometimes if somebody's calling you a fake or if somebody's calling you a liar or something like that. It's not always that easy, but um, we can choose to do it. Just like forgiveness, it doesn't always feel like something we want to do, but we have to choose to forgive everyone or the Father will not forgive us. Okay, by this we know that we stay in him and he in us because he has given us his ruah. The ruah, that's talking about the spirit of Yah. In Hebrew, that the ruah kakodesh is the set-apart spirit of Yah. And we have seen and bear witness that the Father has sent the Ben, Savior of the world. So that word Ben is Son. So he has sent the Son, Savior of the world. The Father sent the Son. Okay, now a lot of people think, uh, a lot of people who use the true names, they're confused and they think that the Father is the Son and they think that He raised Himself from the grave and He died and, and all that. But the Savior, Messiah Yahushua, is the one who came down from Shamayim, that's how you say heaven in Hebrew, and He came to earth to die for our sins and it, He was sent by the Father. So Messiah Yahushua was sent by Father Yahuwah. Yahuwah did not die on the tree for our sins. It was Yahusha who died for us. So it's really clear in chapter 4, verse 4 of 1 John, and, or 1 John. Whoever confesses the, that Yahusha is the Ben of Yahuwah or the Son of Yahuwah, Elohim stays in him and he in Elohim. So if you go around saying that I only love Yahuwah, which some of the, these Hebrew Israelites do say that, then they are wrong because it says right here whoever confesses that Yahusha is the son of Yahuwah or the Ben of Yahuwah Elohim stays in him so Yahuwah is not even staying in them if they reject the Messiah and he in Elohim and we have known and believed that the love that Yahuwah has for us Yahuwah is love and he who stays in love stays in Elohim and Elohim in him so it's so important to stay in love if we want to claim that we are followers of the Most High One or the Messiah. Um, you know, it's so easy to say, oh yes, I'm a believer. But if you're not loving, even the hard to love people, 
the people who constantly use you. They borrow everything under the sun from you and never pay back. You know, people who are rude to you, people who call you names, the people who don't want to use the true name even when you show them the Paleo Hebrew and the sounds that each letter makes. And they say, oh, you know, I don't want to lose my family, so I'm going to still say Jesus, even though Jesus is a false name. So you have to still love those people. It doesn't mean that you follow what they do, but you have to be loving to them. You can't name call them. You need to be loving to them. And by this love has been perfected with us in order that we might have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear holds punishment, and he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So it's fear that says, oh, I can't go to that person and ask for forgiveness. They might not accept it. That's not being perfected in love. You need to be bold and say, hey, you know, I was wrong. I was rude to you. Um, please forgive me. Verse 19 of chapter 4, we love him because he first loved us. If someone says, I love Elohim and hates his brother, he is a liar for the one not loving his brother whom he has seen. How is he able to love you who, whom he has not seen? So it's really important that we love, and I just hope that we will begin to be kind with our words. Yes, we can confront people, tell them the true names, and yes, you know, there's a time when um, if they are really hateful back to you, you might have to block a person like that, but it doesn't mean that we hate them or that we're unforgiving. We can love them, um, but we don't have to subject ourselves to constant, constant um, torture. If somebody's, like I had a person recently on Facebook say that Messiah was a faggot, and so I blocked that person. I normally don't block people, but if they start saying something like that about Messiah, I'm going to block them. So, you know, it's not a sin to block someone if they're really hateful like that or if they're really... Uh, slandering Messiah or something like that. But otherwise, we need to love people, be enduring, you know, have, be long-suffering with people, be patient, because Messiah and Yahuwah has been patient with us. Shalom.